Good morning, Monday. Just burned myself on that. Uh, what am I supposed to say? Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back all the days. Um, Tazo tea. Green ginger. This is what Sarah's drinking this morning. I have been waiting all weekend for Monday morning to do one thing and it's not to go back to working but it was late last week that we connected our Apple TV to Sarah's mom's Xfinity account to get a bunch of the live services Good Morning America I grew up watching Good Morning America every day when I was a little lad eating my cereal in the morning seven years old watching my Good Morning America and we don't have cable as you guys have known we haven't had cable ever since we got married and moved out so this morning I was started my work day after I brought Eva out and made my cup of coffee and everything it's like wait I could put on Good Morning America just for some background noise here Robin Roberts best woman in the entire world we got good news yay I get to go tomorrow to the ultrasound such good news very good news yes, yes. that just like puts the whole um I don't know like feeling and what word am I looking for I don't know like don't know what you're to get energy at. of the appointment on a good yeah step on yeah. a good foot I'm so happy oh gosh Sarah's been hard at work I've just been on calls all morning and so Eve refuses to get up until she gets belly rubs she said I live a pampered life in the day and age of corona you guys are around me all the time how dare you not pet me for four hours so the whole reason we got these meatballs was so I can make a family recipe it's super simple um, again these are kind of things that you might have at home you might not have meatballs but um, if you have them in your freezer or you have need to make some, it's a really yummy snicky snack. It's smoky. It is. <laughs> it's smoky in here. Um, it's yummy, but it is a little, you wouldn't think of it. Actually, a lot of people might actually make this. It's more of an appetizer than my family has at parties. And it's, I think it's equal parts. I actually don't even know because I've never made it before. Equal parts, grape, jelly, and ketchup. You can do barbecue sauce, but it kind of makes it sweeter if you do the ketchup. Um, so I'm just going to add in a little bit here and there and see how it looks. And this is going to be our little afternoon snack. So here they are in this sauce. I had cooked the meatballs separately just to make sure that they were all the way cooked because I didn't feel like wait, taking the time to like actually thaw them. My cousin, who typically makes them, will put like a ton of meatballs, like probably a hundred meatballs in more of a crock pot and fill it up and just let it cook in there but because we only had 10 I just made it quick in the pan like you saw um, and I used two spoons of the grape jelly and then just like one decent size probably like half the amount of ketchup and then I added a little bit more ketchup and um, three shows pretty good so if you're making a small portion that's what I suggest so maybe like the ratio would be Two to one grape jelly. Bum, ba -bum, bum, 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 bum. Ooh, it's still warm. I forgot about my tea that Sarah made me, but it's still warm. Today's another wild day in the world. All different things going on in the world with everything with this virus. But Sarah's watching some happy Netflix shows. What are you watching? Queer Eye. She's watching Queer Eye. I'm chugging along with work. Got another meeting at three today, and then. We're just gonna keep on going. I feel like we should play some board games or something tonight. Um, debating if I'm gonna go on a run tonight I, or not. I could push it to tomorrow. I could use today as another rest day since I did my long run yesterday. But we'll see. We'll see. All right, a little update. It is past five, but Sarah and I are both working. That we are. Are you almost done? But yeah, I'm almost done. I'm gonna send off the last proof and then I'll be fine. I'm not almost done. No. No. Well, there's two pieces like 
So something's changing where I'm going to be running something for my team every night in the late evening hours, an ETL job that sets up our databases. Um, we've been having trouble with the entire company working from home. This process is mandatory for everybody to do their job and it's been uh, like slow and lagging. So it didn't finish today until like 3.30 so I have a process that I have to get started when that's done. And so that's causing me to work a little late tonight, today, but I'm also going to start doing that update every night to not affect everybody during the day. But it's fine because we're all home anyway. Oh gosh, look. Look at her. She needs the belly rubs. If you've been following along with us, we're now on to Pixar movie The Incredibles. You got 20 seconds. So it gave me a minute to decide if we're going to get a lot of Taco Bell or if we're cooking at we home. We shouldn't. But it tastes so good. And it sounds so good. Okay, you have five seconds. Uh, I just watched Jim pop the ball underneath Dwight. You're done. What did you decide? Eat at home. It's the right choice. But the bean burritos. I can make you a bean burrito. We don't have any beans to make bean burritos. We don't have any burritos. We have, we do. We do out. I saw some today. What? Okay, so I decided that we are going to make our very own version of the Taco Bell bean burrito. We don't eat cheese, um, but I am gonna saute up some onions. We also don't have refried beans, but we have some like beans and a chili sauce that we're gonna mash up. And it's not gonna be the exact same, um, but it's gonna be better than going out. And we're also gonna make some rice for the side. Letting the onion, a full onion, sweat it out with olive oil, salt, pepper, and garlic until they're see-through. Added in the beans. I'm gonna let it boil and get soft and then start to mash. Why you gotta go to Taco Bell when we can just make the burritos at home, or not we, but Sarah. Delicious burritos at home. She made them look like the bean burritos you get at Taco Bell too. Not, usually we'd go like, I'm a big fan of like the Chipotle style where you pack it, oh he wants them, pack it so big that the like, workers get mad at you and they have to like grab a second tortilla. But in honor of Taco Bell, she made them Taco Bell style. Here's the inside look at round two for the Earhart collection. It's five units. Why is brown rice taste so healthy? I love brown rice. Sarah does not like brown rice. She only likes the white rice or sticky rice. Sarah put on one of our new faves just now. The new Little Women. You love it? Get nervous for tomorrow? It's okay. You wanna go do your shot? All right, so we're not gonna show needles because I know that gives some people the heebie-jeebies. The willies. <laughs> but we got lots of needles that we've kept in the same sharps container. And not even all of them are in there because but. we've done shots in other places. We can show you this because we have to turn these back in because we're part of the medical study. These are five vials of our progesterone oil. And we got three more. This is what it takes to cook a baby when uh, you need some, when you need some assistance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, I hope this isn't true, but I had a realization. What? What if we never go on spaceship birth? Oh, yeah. It's supposed to go down May 26th, and I think and we'll hope the parks will be open by then but I could see them changing and just like never opening it again like I could see like the parks opening May 1st or somewhere around that and then Disney being like we're not we're just not gonna open up the spaceship that's my biggest worry <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do a shot because we only have so many more I think 21 <sighs> yeah because our our then you can have a we're a, gonna graduate from our clinic in three weeks today yeah <gasps> That's so cool. We should go get ice cream. All I'm saying is take away the the medical assistance that we need to start our family. Take that away. Sarah and I would have thrived back in Little Women times. We would have. Civil War. Yeah. We would have. We would have thrived back then. Minus that minor detail. Yeah. See that wallpaper? I could have wallpapered up that wall so good. And those outfits. Sarah loves doing her hair like that, all wavy like. And Brady like. Don't mind her and her. her. <laughs> this blanket is king size, and it. That is your blanket. Did you know that? Did you realize that? You don't like it. 
No, I do. It's just I like just you're using it 95% of the time. The other 5% of the time, we're sharing it. <laughs> but that's what I wanted when we got it. Yeah, we might just, we could use another one. I think I'm going to have my sarsaparilla later. Still running you this ridiculous know automation. Sarsaparilla is like vanilla ice cream oh. float. Float. This is what our night has come to. Eve, where's Sarah? Where'd Sarah go? <laughs> so I don't know if you recall, but this bathroom actually connects into the front room. Hey Peter! Hey, get him! Guess who's back on a drone kick? Oh, that wasn't as dramatic. Peter is. Ooh, the things we could do. It's a baby. It is. Put in your pocket. This is what tonight has divulged to. Sarah's playing on her Apple TV a hangman game while I start this process for the morning, and then we can go to bed. This is a fun game. I don't know why we have it. Have we ever played it before? I don't think so. I kind of stink in this round. I think I downloaded some games on Apple TV when we first got it just to see. We need to step, if anything, this is the social distancing is tough, we need to step our video game life. But it's not in our like normal day to day. It's we, we need to have switch time right because now. We, need to, we could bring the switch to you the resorts. you realize how little time we have, usually? Yeah, but I also want a drone, so maybe I'll... Hugh, how'd you get Hugh Jackman wrong? I did just get hit by a train, so I don't know if this is a good game for children. We could, our new goal is to get a drone while we are in social distancing. And then never get Hugh Jackman wrong on Hangman. Um, he has never been okay underneath the blanket before. She's currently like, this is, this is a momentous occasion of my life. This is one of the top five greatest moments of my life. What are you doing? All right, March 23rd is the day. Tomorrow's the big day. Today's quote is by Thoreau. It's not what you look at that matters, it's what you see. I'm gonna be honest, I worked way too much today, but we were bouncing back from the weirdness with all the remote working and getting a change of timing and everything. Um, it's about midnight, Sarah and he fell asleep hours ago, so I'm gonna wake them up, we're gonna go to bed, and in the morning, we get to see our baby. It's going to be a good day. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>